like really, uh, you know, like an opinionated person trying to tell you things, you know, just nonsense. Yeah, I get that all the time. Usually, you know, they want to buy me beer. I just drink the beer. I'm like, I'm just in one out, out the other. You Haven't know? been there, don't know, and think they know everything about yeah. it. And yeah. I love those people that ask your opinion before you even start saying anything. They start running their damn sucks. Yeah. So, like, uh, whatever. Yeah. It's for that, that's what's so powerful about these documentaries because they're made by the, the guys who actually do the job. You know, you get the people on the hill. Have, it's their fault that everybody's there. So you have to go. The ordinary guy goes and sorts it out. And as soon as you sort it out, it's the guy on the hill who tells the story again. You know, mm. it's, it's lovely to see the guy in the middle, the working stiff guy, who goes and does it, telling his end of this. It's always immensely powerful. And, and because it's a horrible info. thing, Warren. And they never tell you it's glamorous. You're getting more information in listening to one of the soldiers talk for five minutes than you're ever going to get exactly. listening to a politician or one of the talking heads that are, you know, representing people. You get the honesty. When I hear things like, and your documentary, fantastic, and there's been others that I've watched. Um, I can't remember the titles of them on uh, uh, A&E, I think, had one, or Bravo, one of the others. And it was just honesty. And that's that's fantastic to hear. Guys disgruntled about the whole thing and being honest about it and then being reprimanded for being honest which is just amazing it's like what, <laughs> you're not a, this guy isn't allowed to express his opinion he's fucking being shot at let him express his fucking opinion before he can do you know what I disliked about it? I was in Iraq for one week um, doing gigs for, for troops and the, and the, I obviously hadn't seen a combat we were supposed to go into Balad and we got delayed because uh, of fog and they put us in Baghdad there early no first class so Jimmy didn't go well, no, I sat. I actually got to sit in the cockpit on one of the flights. They didn't tell us about fucking combat maneuvers when they take off the land. So you just, oh, yeah. I thought we were crashing, a... except the pilot was completely relaxed, so I knew we were okay, but it was horrifying <laughs> to make you a harder, like, RPG target. And it was the toilets. The military, they purposely make what you, you know, you sit on a bowl, and your legs are poking through this, like, this, like, big piece of, like, plastic. They don't want you to be comfortable on the toilet. It seems like they just want you to shit and beat it. They don't want you to <laughs> sit. <laughs> but, I mean, you can't relax on the toilet and really enjoy yourself. It's so exposing. You want a pillow? You are fairy? No, I would like a little more room unless it's fucking, oh, everyone's not three feet five. This is not the Roman army from <laughs> fucking 30 B.C. For the legionnaires, you know. <laughs> they would like a little more room in the tanks, too, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. But I think they do that on purpose so the guys don't just sit on a bowl and read. I think they want you to feel a little exposed. I think they have the fucking top yeah. guys does that. It was very annoying. Yeah. Psyops, man. Psyops. Right on. What's psyops yeah, mean? A psychological operation. Oh, okay. Right on. Well, this, the it's film is called The War toilets. Tapes. <laughs> and uh, it starts... Yeah. Is it all over the country, or are they starting small? What are they doing with We're this? We're opening in New York um, tonight at the Sunshine yeah. uh, Landmark Theater down on Houston. And then New Hampshire, June 22nd. Boston, D.C., San Francisco, June 30th. Chicago, July 7th. And oh, so they're more gonna, rolling nationally. They're yeah, rolling out, out nationally. I got to yeah. tell you, you, get a, chance, out you get a chance to see this. Please do yourself a favor and see the war tapes. It's oh. amazing. Well, is but, anybody speaking against it? Oh, I'm sure. Are there any radio stations? God, how saying, could anyone see speak this? Against it's who, who could? You, you couldn't. You couldn't. It's like, hey, ah, what's going on over there? The truth <laughs> and, and honesty and stuff. And Get I, rid of that. Well, and I, I have to say, you know, the soldiers were so dedicated, and, and there were so many who would pick up a camera besides. The three you see, like Zach said, there were two others who filmed the whole year, um, Specialist Brandon Wilkins and Sergeant Duncan Domey, and then other guys like Kevin Shangra, mm -hmm. Jason Blodgett, all these other guys who really were dedicated, and without them taking the extra time and, and yeah. devoting themselves, we would never how, have this inside look at what it means. How did uh, Sergeant Smith, uh, how his leg, how did he do? He's, co he's coming along quite nicely. Yeah. Uh, also, we also had one badass uh, company commander, Major Raymond Vallis. The guy is a man of steel. So. Yeah. No, yeah. totally. And also, is, I mean, the public, cool. the public affairs officer, Major Hileshorn, who is the one who approved it along with General right. Blair, as far as giving us, saying okay to this somewhat yeah, crazy pretty, idea, you know? Uh, I mean, there were so many things, yeah, the stars that had to align mm -hmm. in order for it to happen, you know, and we had a great production tr team, because obviously every film's a collaborative effort. It's not. I want to see the film you guys person. didn't, uh, the film you guys didn't use. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that's that's that, DVD, DVD extras. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> oh, yeah. Either Poop one, truck part two, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Either one of you guys going back? I'm still in. I just actually re recently re enlisted and got promoted to staff sergeant. You so did re up. They, uh, yeah, if they call my unit, I go, it's not a buffet. You can't pick your war, you know? Right, so, right on. Wow. Well, you, you were in uh, Bosnia and, um, Kosovo. and Kosovo. Yeah, I saw the pictures of that. 
Look at you, badass. I know, huh? Tell me about it. You just <laughs> 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 don't like him. Fucking <laughs> Rambo. Maybe Scotland, man. We're going to go to Scotland, buddy. Your country's next. What about what about you, Pink? Uh No, I decided not to re-enlist, but I'm still on what's called the inactive ready reserve. You don't have to put a uniform on, but if they call you, then you do. And these days, if you're a Boy Scout, you might get called up. So Right, right. They got two years, so the chase is on. You know, If they can find me, then go ahead. But keep my address straight when I was in, so I'm not too worried about it. Cool. All right, guys. Uh, this was a pleasure for hey, us. Hey, thank you so much, man. I, I really, really thought this was a fantastic uh, documentary. Yeah. And, and everybody out there, do yourself a favor and check it out. Yeah, the website's uh, thewartapes.com. And we'll, we'll do everyone a favor. We'll have the movie available on our website for download. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> for, for a much a lesser price. Than yeah, that. We really believe that everyone should see this film. Because yeah. um, isn't it really and, the important part is the people seeing it. And half truth. the proceeds will be going to Halliburton. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, Pink. Thank, thank, thank you so much. Thank you Later, so man. much Take for care, having man. us on. Right, Sergeant Stephen Pink. Yep, there he goes. And Sergeant Zach uh, Bozzi, right? Thanks, guys. Said your name right. It. Cool. Thank you. And Deborah, of course, the director. Yes. Thank you. What's that? Oh, press release? Should we do it now or when we come back? Yeah, we'll do it. We'll I got to take, take a break. A, I got to take a dump. I got to whiz. Sorry, Deborah, but I got to no, take a break. Why not just leak? Look, You're Sergeant apologizing. Pink can leak. Come on. I know. Two right on the radio. These guys, that's right. nothing. Yeah, Pink can do it on the air. Man. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, Jimmy usually. Well, Jimmy needs a comfy toilet. Yeah, right, right. We all know I, that. Hey, you know what it is? We were we, 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 we were supposed to, you think, you know, we were supposed to go to Balad. We had to go to Baghdad. We actually waited in uh, Mosul for a few hours, and uh, which mm -hmm. was a really bad place. Yeah, Jimmy did his so time I over here, man. He did, uh, he did a great thing. He hitched a ride with Ricardo Sanchez. And his yeah. fucking Delta Team bodyguards. That was really fantastic. I know you don't know who he is. He was the guy no, in I know who he is. I'm just, I'm just thinking, what an important resource that I've tied up with your ass. No, I know we had to, we had to hitch a ride with, with the, 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 the most powerful military figure. Elzar over there. Cowie should have been your bodyguard. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking ass. He Bunch does wear <laughs> New Balance sneakers, man. He can run. Did he? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was like, Remember that a few days ago, like, a couple weeks ago, like he wears New Balance sneakers. <laughs> yeah. He's not that evil. I, I didn't see how wearing New Balance makes you a shitty. Yeah, right. Oh, Elzar Cowie. Insurgent. But uh, yeah, they were brand new too. I was looking I'm like, God damn, how did he get new balance? <laughs> get new balance? In theater. Jesus, even he's caught up in the whole fucking hip hop culture. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, dog, you dissing Islam. All right. I couldn't believe that. Like, what, they have an Adidas shop over there? Yeah. yeah. I've never felt like a bigger faggot in my life. And believe me, I felt like a faggot at times. <laughs> but to be with the, that, the bodyguards he had, those fucking, the, those military guys, man, it really is. You realize yeah, what a non man you really you are, are when you're around those guys. You oh, are a woman. Hey. Not even hey. a woman, dude. No, and I mean it in his <laughs> sense of the way. Which is I not fine in his sense. No, it's fine if God made you that way, but me, it's just my lack of courage. Please, he's fiery, man. Oh, Watch I've out. always felt trapped in a man's <laughs> yeah. He's a woman with a penis. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Yeah, we're going to take Thank a break. You. We're going to read this press release and continue with Billy Connolly for a little bit, and then we'll get yep. out of here for the weekend. Sounds good, man. Test, test, check, check. Is that good? All right, hey, what's going on? This is Bill Burr. I'm going to be performing at Caroline's Comedy Club on uh, June 15th through the 18th. You can call 212-757-4100 for tickets, or you can go to BillBurr.com, B-U-R-R. BillBurr.com, B-U-R-R, or MySpace.com slash Bill Burr. XM202. Yeah, it's Wolf Mother. Let's see if they stand us up like every other fucking band. Oh, I'm so done with the dumb Oh, dumb fucking bands. annoying. I'm going to see Wolf Mother tomorrow, I think. Where are we? Somewhere in New York, I don't know. I should be seeing Billy Connolly, but I don't see Billy Connolly. Yeah? yeah? How many shows are you doing, Billy? One? Do you do matinees? No. First people that have to be in bed by eight? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go during the week. Yeah. Next week we'll be there, Billy. Oh, I love it. Come along. Hey, I think you'll like it. I don't know what girl I'm going to be with, but she may have, like, masculine arms. Trust me, it's a girl. <laughs> all right. They don't question <laughs> it. We all just look the other so way. You're the one with the matronly up and down. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we're eating some fine food by uh, by who? Father and Son's Catering. Uh, fine food and quality meats, gourmet, hot and cold catering. It's really good, man. It's on uh, 4650 Merrick Road in Massapequa. And I'm going to give out the number, and they have free delivery. 
open seven days, and the food is fantastic. You know what they should do? What? Take some of the WOW stickers, and then people in that area could stop by and grab WOW 